Hello, gentlemen. Now, in the settling tank, the complete separation of the impurities is impossible. As you had talked in the last video, to separate the rest of the impurities, we have to take the help of the secondary method into which the clean oil from the settling tank should be made to rotate in a cylindrical container. The feed being subjected to a rotational motion, impurities would be subjected to a force which is much higher than that produced by the gravitational acceleration and thus the individual components would be held in their positions firmly and would not be disturbed by any external force how high it may be and the force involved in the rotational motion is the centrifugal force which acts radially inwards from the periphery of the container and as a reaction the feed is subjected to a similar force which is same in magnitude but the direction is opposite to that of the centrifugal force that means radially outwards from the axis of rotation towards the periphery and therefore the contents would be subjected to this reaction force which acts radially outwards now gentlemen this is the cylindrical container into which the feed would be fed and the feed is the cleaned oil from the first stage in the shedding tank and in this second stage the rest of the impurities would be separated and thus the more cleaner oil is obtained to be used in the engines So the cleaned oil in the first stage is put inside this container and made to rotate and as a reaction the contents would be experiencing a force which acts outwards from the axis of rotation towards the periphery and this is the centripetal force is a reaction to the centrifugal force being applied to the equipment. Magnitude of the centripetal force is m r omega square. Centripetal force in short Cf is equal to m r omega square well, m is the mass, r is the radius, and the omega is the angular velocity. It is same as the density of the individual phases in the radius in the omega square, which has to be multiplied by the volume of the individual contents, because the m is equal to the density and the volume. The individual contents would be subjected to this force which would tend to throw the contents in the outward direction. The magnitude with which the individual contents are thrown outwards depends upon the 
centripetal force we are subjected to and that would obviously be dependent on the density because omega is same for all the contents and taking v same for all the contents the unit volume radius being the effective radius the centripetal force now is directly proportional to the density rho it can be rho of oil or rho of the water or the rho of the solids so the density of the solids and sludge being the highest the amount of the centripetal force onto this sludge and the solids is the highest let's write it in the descending order let b force for the sludge let's write it as f1 one for the highest value and next to it the density of the water is less than that of the density of the solids but higher than that of the density of the oil so the centripetal force for the water is less than that of the sludge so the centripetal force for the water f2 it is less than that of the f1 and now for the centripetal force of the oil let's write it as f3 f3 is less than f2 so it can be written this way that f1 for the solids and the sludge is greater than the f2 for the water and that is greater than the f3 for the oil so the force for the sludge and the solids being the highest it is thrown with the greatest force radially outwards therefore the solids and the sludge take the outermost position inside the rotating container purifier so that is why the sludge and the solids take the outermost position so that is why the sludge and the solids take the outermost position so this was the so this is the layer of the sludge and the solids and a force with a little bit of lesser quantity is exerted onto the water that's why the that's why they are thrown outwards that's why the that's why the water is thrown outwards with a force which is less than that being exerted onto the solution and the sludge and they take the poison which is inside to the layer being formed by the sludge and the solids so this is the layer for the water and next comes the centripetal force onto the oil and that being the least the oil is thrown outwards with the least force and that is why the oil takes the innermost position in the form of the ring this is the layer of the oil which is the oil to be stored for our use in the engines and the front view of the 
layers of the oil water in the sludge is the layers are now separated in the horizontal manner one after another the innermost layer is occupied by the with the oil and next outwards is occupied by the layer of the water and at the outermost part the layer is formed by the content of the highest density that is the solution is touch after being separated now they have to be extracted out from the rotating cylinder with the passages meant for each content the separate passage is meant for the extraction of the oil and another passage is meant for the extraction of the water and as the solids cannot be taken out they either take the position at the outermost position or are made to be discharged from time to time depending upon the design of the separating equipment that is either the clarifier or the purifier so gentlemen now as we have seen that in the rotational motion where the feed is subjected to rotate inside a cylindrical bowl the individual contents according to their densities are separated and they do not get again remixed and now it's time to separately extract the individual components without being remixed so that the pure clean oil is now available to us for the use in the engines and it's going to be a real interesting one because that will include the extraction of the impurities and the pure oil it is interesting to note that this is a case in which the liquid is rotating and it has a little bit of similarity with the centrifugal pump in which the situation is the other way around in the case of the centrifugal pump the liquid is stationary but the impeller is rotating and in this case as both the liquids are in rotation the process involved in extraction of the rotary liquid from the inside of the rotating bowl will be different and the rest of the explanations will be on the next video see you soon in the next video bye bye